You gotta keep at least one chocobo. Yeah, I'm cool with that. But yeah, I like the idea of like, down the road we're going to, oh, fuck, I don't, I don't remember what we're doing. Um, uh, um, down the road I'd love to acquire monsters and uh, see if I can get people monsters that they want to be and then name them after, name the monster after them for new followers and stuff. That'd be fun. Or just old followers because, I mean, people who have already followed or whatever. Or maybe donations. No, that feels shitty. I don't want to fucking have people pay money. Oh, fuck. This is an encounter that exists. Gafgarian is not as good as he says. I should probably give this guy a fat, fatter voice. Or was it bad luck? Anyhow, you're good. You have bell bottled waves. Even if you are a bastard. Ramza kind of slid on the ground there a little bit. But I don't need your interference anymore. Leave the stone here. If you resist, I'll show no mercy. Where is Princess Sylvalia? Why must you save her? You deserted the bowels. What can you change by yourself? Don't waste energy. Without power, nothing be achieved. You're powerless. Where's Princess? Not here. She left for Zeltalia. Zeltalia. You chose our problem where you boys. It's a lie. Yeah, Agris told us that you fucking kidnapped her, you piece of shit. She wouldn't just go away without Agris. She's begun to think for herself. She felt unsure of you and chose us for obvious reasons to take the throne. Why don't you join us? You don't want to get the best of your brother's sales, right? Ah, oh, we care for the world too, how about it? Uh, I don't want to change the world. I just can't allow people to suffer and die because of some elitist ideas. Uh, change the world, you think anyone really can? I'm not that reckless. I appreciate that the main character is grounded enough to be like, you can't fucking change the whole world, asshole. Stop being that guy. You can change not only the world, but the truth of everything with its power. Since you don't seem to understand, let me show you. Let me show you the plot device. Shing! Oh boy, the plot's happening. It's being infused into his body. Oh my god, look at how plotty he is. He turned into Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. A little smoother, but nonetheless. How about that? Surprised? Now let me have fun. Let me hear your screams and suffering death cries. I want to change the world. Do you want to change the world at the expense of turning into gross sack boy over there? <laughs> I didn't read his name to be honest. Quecklane? Yeah, he's pretty gross. So yeah, um, this guy has unknown everything. So that's why he's a bit of a problem. Ah, fuck. So an, an ideal thing to do is not... Uh, death sentence? Fuck you. Alright, this is off to a really good start. And he just ran away. Just gonna run away. Alright. Gonna yell at Ramza. Ah, oh, he stretched his stomach open. Ew, it was pretty gross. It's pretty, pretty gross. So yeah, this guy's all like, man, it's always weird to me that villains are like super okay with becoming gross disaster monsters. I never understood it. It's such a like... It's so typical. You know, like it's not uncommon. It happens all the time in fiction. It's like, oh, Resident Evil? Yeah, I don't mind turning into a giant, disgusting zombie beast. Wow, the music is really loud here. Let me know if it's way too loud, guys, because it's pretty fucking loud. Uh, am I going to die forever? No, not if I revive you with a crystal. That just means that you're gonna pass out, essentially. Alright, I literally can't do anything right now, so, like, can I, like, hit one of these guys so that they wake up? No, I don't want to because it does a lot of damage. Uh, how much will that do? 30? Cool. That did way more than 30, Linda. I appreciate you trying to, you know, fucking break the mold and do better and stuff.
<clears throat> Music seems fine so far. Okay. Sweet. Haste. I love it. I'm all about it. Hey, can I cast haste on you and it wakes you up? No. Alright, Chu is... is down. Yeah, essentially death just means that you're going to die. It doesn't mean you're going to turn into a crystal. Here, have Chris who attacked this fucking boy. Not God, why does your physical attack do so much damage? That shouldn't be the case. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, should absolutely not be the case. Holy shit. Chris, you should not be able to do 90 damage with her staff. But most of these people who are, like, meant to do physical damage can't do that fucking type of damage. Christ, alright. Can I get way the fuck up there? Like a reckless idiot. <sighs> so the only thing is that he has... <sighs> alright, so... Now's the time. How about we throw a broadsword at you? That's gonna do fucking nothing, apparently. How about a fireball? That's gonna do something. How about a water ball? That's gonna do equally amount. How about a lightning ball? See, now I'm annoyed because look at how much shit there is in throw. I shouldn't have done this. I hate having to look at this many things. It bothers me so much. Wait, where's shurikens? Do I not have shurikens anymore? What? What happened? Don't inviso die. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Give me that. They all look like they're gonna do a very similar amount of damage. I'm just trying them out. 45 damage. Iron sword. 54. Let's just do a fireball. It's gonna do more damage. See, I don't know what stat this guy has. I'm sure I, I'm sure I could pull it up and like actually. Oh fuck. Ah oh, Christ. Impure king. What a great name. Ah, oh, you fuck. Don't. Great, I love it. Ha <sighs> ha this encounter man. Eighty four damage ain't bad. Okay, Chris who is literally about to die. Um Fuck, I don't have any white magic suited to this. Also, I super can't hit him because I ran away. <sighs> yep. I hacked up, yo. I don't know. Like, let's just, let's just throw this down. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> None of these people have taken damage, but... Ugh. Oh. Boy. Oh wait, if Chu's asleep and Chrisu is also going to die, that's kind of a fucking problem. We need to not let that happen. Because Chrisu is the only one who can revive, and then Chu is the only one who can use items that can also revive. Ah, uh, please stop. Oh god, please stop. Christ, he's charging and it's gross. Get out of here with that. Okay, I actually need to like wake up these two. Can I? Can I wake them up with this? Like, <laughs> there's a chance. There's a percentage chance that it'll 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 cast sleep. I don't know how I feel about that. I gotta try because if these if everybody down here dies, that's bad. Excellent. Oh, cool. And Chu gets extra speed. That's excellent. <clears throat> Rude. Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that one status effect that Chu got? Why is he purple? What happened? I'm scared. What is your status effect? I don't know, but you're gonna fucking die. How much health? Oh, Christ. Oh, this is really bad. This is quite bad. This is real not good. Un <gasps> it turned him into an undead person. 
I read undead the second that I hit that action. Oh my fucking god. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's that's pretty fucking bad. I googled this guy and his name is apparently pronounced Ku Ku Kellen. Ku Ku Kulen. Eh. Eh. Thank you for googling him. Which is gross. I'm sorry you had to do that. We're fucked. We're fucked. Everybody's dead. Nobody can be revived. We're fucked. It's all fucked. All we have is our heavy hitters left. Oh, he's dead. Well, that's not as bad as I remember it being. Cool. I'm mortal. How can I be losing? It's impossible. I can't die until he resurrects. Who's he? That's a curious way to phrase that sentence. Yeah, did that stone make you immortal? Sure doesn't. Sure doesn't look like it, buddy. How's that immortality thing holding up? How's it? How's it? How's it treating you, buddy? How's it? How's it going? You got to be a gross, slimy, godlike monster for two seconds, and then you died. You terrorized a thief and a summoner, and then you died. You made some people sleep for a little bit. You made some other people undead, which was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool status effect. Inside of Zeltania Castle. Plot. It's you who saved Ovelia. Oh yeah. This is one of Ramza's brothers, I guess, and he's fucking gross. Lead a black sheep knight under Baron Grimm's and Harrow. I was sent by the order of Baron Grimm's to save the princess of return. Mission completed. I think that guy's one of Ramza's brothers. No, it can't be. He looks fucking older than Ramza's dad was. That's absurd. Uh, Hyrule never heard of him. Uh, the Baron died in battle last month with the Ryo Moku. Black sheep were entirely wiped out. That's why I returned. I was the princess. Uh, I don't recognize this guy at all. Sleeping soundly, she's exhausted from the long trip. But he gets a fucking name, so I'm gonna see him later, I guess. Can Babrif. Can Babrif. Orlando. I heard you brought a prisoner. Yes, sir, bring him. Oh, please, damn it. I was fucking hoping it was Algus. I don't even remember if Algus is dead or not. I think he's dead. Why did you kidnap the princess? We framed Goltana to prevent him from Lacelia taking the regency. Who gave you the order, Prince Larg? Uh, one of Goltana's aides who wants to join Larg. Orlando Bloom, yes, indeed. Uh, ridiculous, no aides, ugh, no aides would do that. Silence this lout. No need, listen. Who is that? Who is it? Talk now. Will you save my life? All right, I promise. Who is it? Him, Minister Galwan. Uh, how dare you? It's a lie. I don't even know you. Who seduced you? The queen? That's absurd. I don't know anything. Treason's a serious crime, Minister. Hmm. I said I don't know a thing. Yeah? How about that? Let me say this. I must go to the capital with the Nantin now. With the Mayhold, you're responsible for this plot. First, let's remove Orinas Or and the Queen and get the princess on the throne. Oh boy, I went way over my time limit. I should have made an outro for an episode. Fuck. I don't know how I'm gonna cut this, so we'll figure it out. Goltana went to Lazelia and confined Ruvelia in Bethla for kidnapping the princess and let the princess accede to the throne. God, you cannot, I just want to point it out. I just want to make it known. You can't make this text go faster. But Larg insisted Orinas was the legitimate successor and had him accede to the throne. 
Then, Larg became the regent as a guardian. I gotta be honest, this is where the plot kind of loses me. I need to read into this more, and I've played this game a million times. But, like, all of the inter-turmoil stuff loses me just because I suck at remembering names. It's a lot of, like, the, um... Uh, a lot of the fucking... Hang on. Immediately after, Lark sent Hokuten, led by RNS, to Bethla to rescue the queen. Meanwhile, Gosana sent the Nanten, led by Ovelia. Um... Yeah, a lot of the fucking plot development just confuses me. Why do I only see Orlando Bloom? What'd he do? Uh, there's a guy in this game named Orlando. Uh, this is the beginning of the upheaval, which would later be called the Lion War. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, fun fact, King, King Regent basically have no power, and the Queen is still the one who rules everything. Neat. Yeah, I want to save. Fuck you. Uh, I guess I'll save here. The lack of music is frustratingly deafening, <laughs> to be honest. I think we're on a new chapter, folks. Bethla Garrison. Oh, look at all these fucking fat cats. 20,000 dead, counting both sides. That makes 40,000. Well over 200,000 injured, just in our troops alone. Gazilties aren't the only problem. Food stock is short as we expected. The real problem's the drought. I don't know why I'm voicing this guy like Palpatine. There's no food tax and revenues are reduced. Storage is at least less than half. Um, Lark's probably facing the same problem. Uh, I hear crops are ruined before harvest due to rain. More serious are those made destitute by the war. According to Olan, more than 100,000 refugees have come to Lazelia. Aha, good. Larg will have problems getting food. Uh, there's no laughing matter. The same could happen here. Many refugees may come here. Should we start peace talks? I understand your concerns, but we cannot stop the war. We'll increase tax by 30%. That's a big fucking increase, dude. Make sure no one trades grain at high prices. Also keep an eye on all refugees entertaining entering Limbury. Lar Limbury reminds me of a town of a name from Final Fantasy IX. Larg is in difficulty too. Uh, it's not too late for a peace settlement. Enough, Orlando. A peace settlement won't occur. Our nation exists because of the people. We exist because of them. Farmers suffer the most of the war. Uh, raising taxes would hurt them even more. The soldiers are also suffering from lack of food. It's impossible to continue physically and mentally. Mentally, are you becoming a coward? In the last war, we served uh, we served by keeping Ordalia out of our land. Are you saying there is no right in this battle? Since when did you start talking about hypocrisy? You can't go easy on them. It's for the people. We can't allow our corrupt royal family to oppress the people any longer. We fight. He's right. Just a little longer before it's over. Uh, I never expected to hear that from one they used to call TG Sid. Oh, this guy's the Sid of this game. I never caught that before. A little longer. Where'd you get that idea? How can you be optimistic? Are you blind? Your words are harsh. Enough. I'm disappointed in you, Orlando. Any more harsh words may mean your life. And fuck you. I won't say this again. If any more of you disagree with my plans, go now. Understood, Orlando. Er, understood, Orlando? Er. Hey, guess what? It's a new chapter, folks. We did it. Chapter 3, The Valiant. That's a that's a really good chapter name. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, fuck, I hate, I hate these text scrolls so much. Delita told me that there is a big tide, and he goes against it. Oh, yeah, this is supposed to be Ramza. If this age of war is the big t tide, like a fate we can't avoid, can I go against it? I fucking hate these text scrolls. Can I make these any faster? It doesn't feel like it. 
Now I head for Lazalia to tell my brother Zalbag there's someone manipulating this war. To be honest though, like, I played this as a kid and I didn't read, hey Blade Knight, how are you doing? Uh, I read this game as a friggin' fucking, I played this game as a kid and I probably would appreciate those slow text rolls. Hey, we made it all the way over here. Excellent, let's save. Nope, that's the thing that I didn't mean to do.